Welcome to this week in Campbell football, brought to you by our friends at Precision Ford. I'm Chris Haymeyer, joined by head coach of Campbell football, Mike Minner. And coach, an early bye week last week for you and the team. What did you guys work on? Well, um, you know, it was really about getting back to the basics. I think every team does that when they get to a bye week. Um, the majority of our coaches is on the road recruiting. Um, now that we're a scholarship football team, we got to get out there and recruit um, during this time. And really the coordinators and myself stayed back, uh, practiced with the football team. Uh, we went Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, full pads, um, really working on the fundamentals. Um, of course, introduced Davidson to our football team and uh, what we had to get done there. And, and um, the great football team we about to play in. And, and so we had to get a jump on them and, and thank God for the extra week. There are so many positives that we have gone over here on the first three weeks of this show. One of the big ones is your middle linebacker, Justice Galloway Velasquez. He leads this team with 17 tackles, also with one and a half sacks and an interception. Our Evan Budrovich caught up with him, his coaches, and his teammates and brings you much more. It's just he has this switch that when he switches it on, it's straight focus, straight serious gets everybody going at the same time and we all motivated when we see that switch kind of like it's contagious throughout the whole group it brings that mentality each and every day just to go hard um, and just to have fun with it I mean he, we push each other he helped me get better I help him get better so he's definitely a leader he have his days but like he's mostly goofy playful but when it's time to be serious he's here he's right there it certainly begs a good question how do you replace Jack Ryan the all-time tackles leader in program history Leave that to number two to fill some big shoes. Absolutely. Um, Justice now the quarterback of the defense, playing middle linebacker, uh, you know, a quarterback in high school. So this is a converted quarterback that was playing physical football and really dominating the game from the middle of the football field. The thing about Justice, and Justice understands that it's two completely different personalities. Justice is a very outgoing, energetic person, and even last year when he would sub in for Jack, he led the defense with emotion and with passion. Just his start as an All-State quarterback and linebacker at nearby Cape Fear High School, he was even invited to play in the Shrine Bowl before arriving in Bowie's Creek. He was always a natural athlete. He could play any position that he wanted to just because of size. Um, he, he has great speed, great feet work, so. And, you know, he just has the effort, so he puts in the extra work. Playing for the people that, that's doubting me right now. That's what, that's what really feels me, playing for the people that doubted me. They didn't, think, they didn't think I could do what I'm doing now, which is switch from quarterback to linebacker, go to college off of playing one season in high school with linebacker, and now I'm at Campbell. They didn't think I would do anything here at Campbell, and uh, I'm just going to show them like, I can do whatever I want here. But uh, he's a big leader, you know what I'm saying? He tried to motivate the defense, motivate the team in every aspect possible. Uh, he said he leads by example. I mean, yeah, he get on us when we do wrong, but Justin, he's a, he a good man, he's a good leader. He's a smart kid, and so playing quarterback, he knows football. And that was a huge part. And moving to linebacker with him was more the technique. It was how do you get to where you're going, and the biggest part for playing linebacker is your eyes. He's also earned quite the reputation on the field with his personality. Just definitely like when the defense brings that energy, that, that motivates him a lot. Just keep going hard, um, 100 miles per hour each and every play. I, I love seeing him have fun out there, and, and that's part of the energy I love. Now, I've had to reel him back in a couple times. You know, he'll take it a little too far, but he's smart with it, and you know when that whistle blows, he's going to lock it in. And it's just amazing because, like, when I do that, how can you forget? How can you forget that moment? Like, I'm a different player. I come up to you, shake your hand. I'm talking to you about stuff that's not have to do with football. And like, how can you forget that? I just want. I just want to make my impact. Like. I want to make sure guys remember me for something. Look no further than last week when Justice set a career high posting 10 tackles against Troy. I mean, it's kind of a boost for me because I want to be the same like him, try to get 10 tackles like him, you know? You know what I'm saying? He just setting about his effort like, okay, if he make it 10 tackles, everybody can make 10 tackles just like him. I didn't even know how the stats were until after the game, until people started blowing on my phone. but. I mean, I was just grateful to be in that position. I know what type of work I put in in the off season. I know how much work I put in in the off season, and I expect those results every Saturday. The Fayetteville native can't wait to open up the home slate in front of dozens of friends and family, and his teammates are just as excited to see him play in the orange and black. 
I have seen growth, a lot of growth in justice um, from starting with spring ball all the way up to now. And he's going to be a good guy, a great player. You know, he, he brings what Coach Mitz tells us every time, just industriousness and enthusiasm. I mean, he has that every, every day. He, he brings his cornerstones. Our Mike linebacker is the quarterback of our box up front. So see him communicate, get that piece done, and be able to roll that. That's good to see and see him grow and develop. Well, Coach, Justin and your defense will have their hands full as Justice and the guys will try to stop Davidson. And I've been telling everybody that will listen, this is not the Davidson that Campbell knew back in the Pioneer Football League days. That Davidson won a total of nine games in six years. This Davidson, with a new coaching staff and a new system, since the beginning of last year, they have nine wins and just five losses. Talk about how different this team is. Well, first of all, let's – to start with the coach and, and I think um, coach does a great job of coming in and instilling his offense and his system of how we're going to play uh, we, we're going to play 60 minutes we're going to play as one team uh, we're going to play disciplined football um, they don't do a lot they give you a lot of different formations a, a lot of different looks uh, but at the end of the day these guys are going to play uh, sound football for 60 minutes and you're going to have to match that in order to um, beat this football team. And so this offense, man, I think they was number one in the country at, at running the ball last year. I think they're on track to do that again. They might be like number three in the country right now at running the football. Um, these guys run the triple option and, um, and they do a lot of different things and show you a lot of different looks um, to mess with your eyes. And all they need is one guy out of the gap. So you got 11 dudes on the football field, and if you have one guy that is not doing his job, Davidson will make you pay. And that's what they did all year um, last year, and that's what they have done in the first three ball games. I mean, they beat a very good Georgetown team um, in the first week. Um, this Georgetown team is, a, as we know, is a really, really good defense. And, and they was able to move the ball. I think they jumped out on them 21-0 and, and really kind of took control of that game um, early and, and um, was able to fight for four quarters to get that done. So the defense definitely better be ready um, because these guys are going to challenge you in every single way. Um, they're a physical football team. They like to run downhill. I really love their running back number two. Um, he's, a, he's a powerful guy. We got to see him as a true freshman when he was um, in the Pioneer League with us, and, and um, he had a great game against us at that time. And so now he's an older guy, um, more seasoned, and I think this offense just really opens up what he does well at running downhill with that football. And so we, we're going to have our hands full with that. And, but at the same time, they do play action. So if your eyes are not on your guy, they're going to fake that run, and then all of a sudden they're going to pop back and throw it to that big old tight end, number 16. And, and we got we to gotta cover this guy. This guy can make plays for them all down the field. And I believe that he's a key to their offense. And, and, um, and so we got to keep an eye on him at all times. He does a great job of blocking in the run game, but he, his, his plays come in the pass game. We got to eliminate that. Um, on defense, and, and um, again, we, we're going to play a lot of guys to, to keep them fresh <laughs> so we can play 60 minutes of solid defense. And then offensively, man, we got to take advantage of what we have in, in, in you know, um, our athletes. We, we, we got to throw the ball, we got to run the ball, um, establish the run. I think that's very important in a game like this. Time of possession is going to be big. Turnovers is going to be big in this game. And so it's going to be very important for us to take control of that line of scrimmage um, on our offensive line against their defensive line and then get the ball to our skilled guys so we can um, open some space up. And so, um, man, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So. And, and you are not overestimating this team. This is a team last year, folks, that averaged 44 points mm -hmm. per game, 400 and 44 yards rushing. Hey, it has been a couple of weeks since we've had that uh, fantastic atmosphere at Barker Lane Stadium. If you forgot what it's like, here's a refresher for you.
are underway, the home season here at Barker Lane Stadium. Colin Gary kicks it end over end. Coach over 6,000 was there for the home opener. It is a home field advantage that truly makes a difference to you and the guys. No doubt. And um, our fans are great. To break records every single year that I've been here at the home opener is just unbelievable. So the support is there, um, the enthusiasm, the industriousness that they bring, the cornerstones that they bring every single week, Chris, is, is just unbelievable. And so we, we really look forward to running out of that tunnel uh, we really look forward to scoring that first touchdown or getting that first turnover as, as far as defense because the crowd is so loud with 6,500 people in there going crazy. Uh, man, we're going to need all that um, come Saturday night um, at 6 o'clock with these guys because, um, you know, we're going to need that energy. So, you know, fans come out and support and have fun and, and uh, bring your kids. Man, it's a great atmosphere for for young folk and, and uh, man, we just look forward to stepping out on that football field again. It's been two weeks and so we kind of chomping at the bit a little bit and uh, we're looking forward to um, getting out there. Tickets available at GoCamels.com. 6 p.m. this Saturday, Campbell takes on their in-state rival, Davidson. If you can't make it to the game, we'll have radio coverage, 88.3 FM and at GoCamels.com. We'll also have full video coverage for you on ESPN+. We hope to see you at the game. If not, We'll talk to you next week on This Week in Campbell Football.